rolling. Okay. <clears throat> Hello and welcome to Crime Seekers. Today we are heading to Floppy Haddock Avenue where a theft has occurred at the Fuck Offy Offy. We now speak to Billy and other eyewitnesses. Right. You're right. You're right. Is this thing on? Is, is it? Is it? Is it? Yep. Oh, right. Uh, right. So I've worked in this establishment like, for my entire life, right? And, uh, well, I only opened it about three years ago. It was a, it was a laundry mat before I got to it. All right, my name's Colin, and uh, I just live over there, like, and it's. Uh, I heard all this kerfuffle and everything going on across the road, you know, for coffees, and I thought to myself, e, you better go and check and see what's going on. So anyway, Pet, the day started, right, right and I had me. Born of special care, obviously when Newty Brown on top, and then after that we watched a bit of daytime telly, didn't we? And then after that it got to lunchtime, so that's the best thing to do was go and get a bottle of Newty Brown, innit? Wait a minute, you had special care? Yeah. Why'd you make me have old brand then? Because I don't like old brand, and it's been in there for three years, so I need to get rid of it. Nobody likes old brand, so why'd you make me eat it? Well, everyone always has it in the cupboards, don't they? Fuck's sake. I didn't even open it. Yeah. Some bloke named Derek did. Yeah. I didn't really know him. He, he just ran the off and that, you know, and that's who I got it off. And, um, I don't know, I must have had some sort of aura about me because he walked in for a pack of fags and a couple of tins of special brew because my doll went in like. And uh, he was just kind of like shaking his head, looking down at a couple of papers. I was like, yeah. What's that, Derek? He said, uh, oh, well, I'm in debt. Right? I was like, oh, no, that's not on that. And he goes, you know what? He threw the keys at me and fucked off. So anyway, I went over, like, and then it was all kicking off and everything. And I went, bloody hell, how many police cars do you need for two bottles of Nuki Brown? As we were on our way here, there was two blokes on motorcycles. Aye, they were, yeah. And they went straight past the shop, didn't they? They did. Yeah, we thought they were going to go in, but they didn't. No, not even a wave. Fuck you if you're watching. I changed the name to the fuck offy, right? Because everyone loves coffee and everyone loves the fuck offy, right? But yeah. Uh... Anyway, then Mavis, the nosy bitch from next door, turned up, didn't she? And then, and she was all, oh, what's going on? And he was like, oh, flipping heck, here she goes. Bet she has an heart attack in two minutes. You know what she's like, this Mavis. She's a pain in the backside. Right, that's where I got about halfway down. So we started running towards us. Hey, I was quite, wait. Where the fuck am I? Yeah, yeah. camera's there. Oh, yeah. So we started running towards us, but they didn't attack us. They got on a bus. Ah, oh, that's right, they got on the number four, the one that takes you straight to town. The one that goes past the hospice? Yeah, it smells a bit shitty like eh, as you go past it, but it's the quickest one to town. I, you can see why I was like, pleasantly surprised that I got broken into. Well, not pleasantly surprised, right? It was kind of a bit, bit of a mood killer, right? It's like being in the bedroom with your missus or the partner of your choice and not being able to get it up, you know? Like, it's that sort of behaviour. All right, Terry. All right, Terry. Right. So anyway, I fucked off down there, and then I came back again. So we had to go because we forgot our what's it, didn't we, Pet? Hi. So we had to go back in, but they didn't have any. So we had some space invaders instead. That's right, yeah. Where are you fucking go, lads? Is that Jimmy? He owes me a fucking pack of fags. Hey. Yeah. Oh. Give me a, ah. Oh, don't kick him there, pet. No, give me the ah. Oh, right, gone, don't he? He knows those fuckers have been robbing my shop. They look dyslexic. The big one's definitely got a lisp. Is that the artist sketch? 
No, no, I don't think they look like that. Eh. Uh, that one looks like Sylvester Stallone. Oh, is that the joint? No, hey, crap. You look fucking nothing like us. I know. I can't use that on my Tinder profile. What the fucking waste of time that was. I know. I'm going to have to get a proper sketch artist no, now. Fuck this one. Shit. So, yeah, that's it, really. That's all I know. Um, oh, mate, I've run out of coffee, so I'm, I'm going to go now. Bye. Put a kettle on, love! Is that everything you need, pet? Okay, thank you. Bye. Oh, thank fuck for that. I'm and vanished. All. Yeah, me too. <sighs> hey, nice there, Oh, lovely. Where'd you get these from? There was an offer inside. Buy one, get one free. Oh, nice one. Is this a free one? Aye. And where did you buy that one? No, I stole this one. Oh, well, I never. Cheers. Cheers. So if you have any information, please call the number 011-899-88199-9119-7253. Well, that's all from Crime Seekers. Next up is Elaine from Slack Girls, and she's asking the question, should cinnamon be cancelled? <laughs>